Hello, I'm just recording this on my phone because my just got all the technical issues as usual and I got work to do so I just need to upload quickly and this is the best option. So uh, this week's theme is top fives and the first top five thing is top five favourite songs. Um, I'm just going to do like my top five songs that I'm listening to at the moment because like Cameron said if I had to do my like five top five songs of all time it would just be impossible i don't know if i correctly choose so um one song i really like at the moment um is emmy lou by first day kit um i'm going through my first day kit phase at the moment you know we just like listen to a band's music constantly that's first day kit for me right now um i also love uh, the xx and really like and crystallized again like i really love their albums and i really like that song there's also um, a new profile before he was uh, famous by Frank Turner because we all love Frank Turner. Then have I said three? Oh, there's a song that I quite like by a guy. What's he from? He's from London. Um, Frank Hamilton. And it, this girl also performs in it who I don't know what she's called. I can't remember her name. And it's called Floors and Ceilings, I think. I can't remember, but that song, I quite like that. And uh, Billy Don't Be a Hero by Paper Lace, because it's just, just a good song. Oops, I just realised I'm showing you my laundry. <laughs> That's my uniform for work, drying there, I've got work tomorrow. Um, what was the next top five? Sorry, this is not going to be edited. Uh, top five places to go if money wasn't an option. First one's easy choice for me, which is Antarctica, because I would just love to experience that. And I just think it would be amazing, and I just really want to go. Um, another place I really want to visit would be the Amazon. I've never been to South America before, and I'd love to go to South America. And I'd love to also travel around there as well, and get to experience different cultures, because that's my favourite thing to do. I just love experiencing new cultures and meeting new people and just seeing what it's like and just the whole, oh yes, I just love it. Um, I'd also, some other one, <coughs> which I want to try and do this year if I have time, I uh, would like to go to Berlin because I went once about six years ago maybe, it was in year 10, so I don't know. Um, and it was lovely, I've never been since then and I really want to go again because it's like one of my favourite cities I've been to. Um, that's three, and I really want to go to India, because uh, I just, again, would love to experience all the different cultures, and I think it's such a beautiful city, and I would love to see all the different parts, like the good and the bad, and just to experience all the different cultures, and see all the, oh, let's do all the things, and yes, and a fifth one, I'd like to go, like, not India's east, I'd like to go further east, uh, just like Singapore, because I would just love to experience that, like, that side of the world. Because the furthest east I've been at the moment would either be Tunisia or Poland. I think Poland's further east. My, is my geography correct? I don't know. I'm sure Poland's further east than Tunisia. So yes, that's the furthest east I've been. So I would just love to go past there. I just really want to do all the stuff there. But obviously, I don't really have the money all the time for that. But in this case, I do. Uh, so I think that's five. I think it is. And then top five quotes. Now I'm going to have to try and remember the quotes the best I can. Um, Einstein is one of my favourite people for quotes. I just love him so much. And one he says is, um, Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. And I really like that one. And I also really like um, something like in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity or it's something, I can't remember if it's that exact word for word, none of these might be word for word but you know, we can get over that, we can deal with that. Um, Nelson Mandela, um, he says one, something like, um... Uh, the the brave man is not he who feels afraid, but he who conquers fear. Along those lines, um, something like that. Or oh, one of my quotes I really love that's really funny is by Scott Adams, and it goes like, um, 
some days you accept that you are the pigeon and others you have to accept you are the statue or yeah something like that I think it's more eloquently put than that but I thought I always think that's pretty funny and my fifth one um, I'm trying to think of my look up quotes with the like what's the guy called that there's a quote that goes um Oh, my computer's here, I should look it up. Actually, no, I'll just remember. Uh, the only the only ones you should get even with are the ones that have helped you by John Salford or something. Is, is it? Something like that. Anyway, that is it for now. I'm going to have to do wonderful uni work because I am so cool like that. And yeah, I've got quite a bit to do because my project's going wrong and i got to do all this stuff and it's not very interesting so I'm not going to bore you. But adios, have a good week. You better get my, uh, find my picture Cameron, I'll be on to you. Uh, um, ciao for now. How do I stop this thing? I've done, did this before. Where is it? Is it just